Nation. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman on this Tuesday, Tuesday, the 22nd of Feb. And before we know it, February will be gone, and we'll have to be looking at those February monthly charts. Let me just show you this because I had a couple of questions, so let me just do this real quickly. Uh, the one-minute chart made a peak D just a moment ago at about 9.52, um, and that was at 43, uh, 50, what was it, 43, somewhere in the 52 area, 53 area. Now pulling back to the 200 period moving average, look at the 200 period moving average. It's just been a fulcrum for this move up and down and up and down since about nine, since just before the market opened. Look at the 100, look at the 10 minute chart. Went to a peak D from a low at three o'clock this morning of a 42. I think this is where it went to 42.50. Because peak A, peak B, in the Chapman Wave methodology, you always like to see a buy signal get upgraded to a buy mode. And that implies immediately that it should go to at least a D. It can go to four higher peaks, but it could even go five higher peaks, six higher, seven. But most importantly, that fourth highest peak, peak D, is where other things can happen. And you can see that that high that was made at about six o'clock at about 43, let me give you the exact figure. The reason why I'm doing this is that it's really imperative. There are a couple of things going on today, today especially, that I need to do about 10 to 6 this morning Eastern Time. I was 43.50, and then it pulls back. Now, some of you were, might have noticed on Sunday night, and then it pulls back, and it pops up to an E doji candle. Now it's digesting these gains yet again. So let's just uh, all I'm going to say is if there is a slide a little later in the day, rather than a rally, they can get to the 43.70s and hold for a while so that you've got a nice up move for about, you need it for about 60 minutes to say, no, no, this one is the one that's going to stick to the upside rather than 40 minutes to the downside going below. Oh, I put it at about 43.06 right now. It just sounds like you're at 43.40. What are you talking about? Those are the kinds of moves we've had that would say, uh-oh, the pattern that I'm talking about, now I can go through all the numbers. This, this pattern that I'm talking about, let me go to the Dow. The H pattern, what we call the dreaded H in the Chapman Wave methodology. I'll just drag this to the side and show you. Come down, you, you always got three patterns, that I, well, at least that I'm looking for. Straight line up, straight line down, that's one. Cup formation, that's two. Arch formation, that's three. Or a combo of one and two and one and three. One and three is red because if you take out this left side low, you can go considerably lower. Green uh, with the move straight up move, and then a cup formation or a V-shaped formation that takes out the left side high could be very positive. So we call this the dreaded H because if it comes down like it did right there, they move from the all-time high of 36,952 on the 5th of January down to 35,639. Just uh, four sessions later, then it bounced to a peak A minus because it failed and took out that left side low. Look how sharply you can plunge. And now we've got a much bigger one. There's a, a much greater implication here. But at the same time, let me just explain a couple of things. I thought that there was a chance that we could go to the 200 period moving average, this yellow line, and the daily, this is the daily, this is the weekly, this is the monthly. We could go to the 200 period moving average and then find enough support to have at least a bounce. We didn't even have to make a peak D. We made a peak C at 35,824. But I said, if we could get a little higher, that's another opportunity to be shorting. Well, it never went high. In fact, it failed. That means that this lowercase h has the momentum, the rollover momentum that accelerates. Very often, you get a very, look at this little mini dreaded H right here. You get a one-to-one -one expansion to the downside. And I said, if the Dow today, let me just give you exactly what I said. Uh, daily chart, there it is. So this is what I show my subscribers to my opening call every day. Uh, oh, no. What? Why is it? Oh, that's because there's so much activity going on that it is kind of messing up the charts a little bit. 
All right, here we go. Slowly move it over, slowly, slowly, slowly. There you are. So what I see, Dow closed down minus 232. That was on Friday, 34,079. As the dreaded H rollover continued, thus far skipping the semblance of a second arch for the HDM pattern, if today there is a slide below 39,800 that holds for more than 60 minutes, it threatens to accelerate toward the left side low of 33,150. The implication being somehow, some way, more likely a really oversold bounce needs to unfold. <coughs> the night said, maybe Home Depot's good earnings today will help. Oh, yeah, sure. Home Depot is down uh, about 16 or 17 points. I guess it's the outlook. It's not that they didn't do fantastic for three quarters. They've been doing very well. Um, the VIX volatility index must start to slide to allow at least a counter trend oversold market bounce, making this a really important moment for a test of residual strength. Today, if instead of sliding triple digits yet again, the Dow is able to stall the downside momentum and rally to a plus 40s and hold for 30 minutes or more. Some form of relief rally finally will see an up close. Well, we're now down 178 in the Dow. So that, that's kind of what we were looking at. And um, I don't want to get just at the moment into the weekly and monthly charts. Let's just go uh, into the S&P because it has the same pattern. Um, also with that H pattern. Most importantly, though, I had a question about the monthly chart. Well, what are we looking at in the monthly chart? If this is a B, where could we go to the downside? What's the implication? And what I've said is, I have a B in the monthly chart. There's no other way I can count it. In the Chapman Wave methodology, a buy signal going to a buy mode suggests there should be, a, it doesn't tell you how high, but it does say there should be higher highs at least to make a leg C and then a peak C, and then a higher leg D and a peak D. Well, with that said, the other thing is we've got a Chapman Wave Roman candle. I am moving to the monthly. I guess I was going to wait for that, but I won't. We're moving to the monthly candle, and that's a Chapman Wave Roman candle. Uh, right there. What is a Roman candle? It's where the price, certainly at a high of any any time frame, opens at, opens up, just fractionally goes higher. You want a tiny little wick. I prefer to see a little wick. Sometimes you get no wick at all, but I prefer to see a tiny little wick. That's where you light the fuse. Why? Because there's a sharp plunge to the downside, and yet there's still that residual buy because it's near a top that says it could close halfway to uh, a third off the top, leaving a long wick. The very next bar, I usually give it two bars, although I prefer to see it as one bar because that's really that, that's a clean uh, measure of what we're looking at. If there is a close below halfway in a shorter time frame, so a shorter time frame, I should go for a week, but I said even on a daily basis, if there's a close below, and I said uh, 44 25 I think I said I've got to be careful because there could be a test of the low that was at 42.22.62 on November the uh, January the 24th and look where we are right now and that suggests we will be taking out the period back we keep having Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right. 
information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, we're back. So the S&P uh, just went positive up a point, up two points. The Q2 went positive up a dollar at 342.40s. Um, and uh, so this is what I'm looking at here. On a, if I do a measure of oversold in my own way, we're I extremely oversold in many areas. Oversold meaning that the rubber band to the downside has stretched so much that there could be a snapback, but it isn't a rubber band that says, oh, you know, a rubber band where you let go, it goes back to your hand all the way back. No, it says it's a rubber band that has so much weight on it that it could bounce back, but it's going to do some testing of the bottom part again. So the questions come up, and I'm going to try to deal with two questions at the same time. QQQ, up one. Is it ready for a much greater bounce? In other words, is this are we getting to some kind of a low? Because you know, I, I don't want to get into the whole uh, geopolitical aspect, other than to say we've been talking about this for a long time. That uh, Putin has a way of of accelerating an idea that he has, and then suddenly the Western world notices, but he's already in whatever it is, and then. He says, well, I'm going to ameliorate that. I'm just going to change a little bit. As he's doing that, he moves further into whatever it is. And then he says, okay, I, I, you know, I, I think we can do some negotiating. Meantime, he's already got a chunk of what he wants. So this whole idea of um, the, the, the two positions that he's included pushing into uh, talking about uh, protecting the, uh, the Russian coalition within the U Ukraine, I, I think he's already achieved a chunk of what he wants. It's a first step of a big step, but it's what he wanted to do. And the West is always just kind of absolutely mystified, really doesn't know what to do, because <clears throat> when you get a bully, a bully always gets his or her way until people recognize it. And even then, they continue. Even when there's a, a compromise made, the bully is actually pretty much got a, a chunk. It just works that way in nature, okay? So that's the way I see it. So now the question comes in, could the QQQs, and you've got, uh, should, let, me, let me go to ARKK. I just use this as a very generic example. ARK Innovation, because she, uh, Kathy Wood, I don't think it's Woods, it's Wood, Kathy Wood, um, has 
positions in major, major companies of the big move up that went into the 2021-2022 highs. And then some of them made highs in September or so of last year and have just been crushed. So the question is, wow, this is so oversold and she's being looked at askance now, although she was a hero before. Is this where you suddenly get this counter trend move? <coughs> Excuse me. I think we're really close. And I think ARC at 66.93, could it, could it have a bounce? Of course it could. Wait a minute. What if it bounces like for three days big? Goes back to where it was three days ago. Seventy. It's at sixty-five right now. Sixty-five ninety-one. Made a low today of sixty-three thirty-nine. So really two points higher, more. Um, so that's what I'm saying. So the lowercase H can go to a lowercase M formation. So I don't think it's all done there. And in fact, I'm thinking hockey stick. I'm thinking that there are going to be some fantastic percentage bounces in some of these way, way over oversold. Um, NASDAQ type, they're not all NASDAQ, but NASDAQ type stocks. And a little later on, we'll start to see which ones are the ones that really have have made lows that are significant and are going to move much stronger. And this is the, pro we're in this area right now. As I said, I thought February, going to the end of February, the beginning of March, it's kind of what I'm, or maybe sometime in March, is kind of what I'm looking at is some kind of a really tradable low. So the question came up. What about, what is it, S-A-R-K, is it a SARK? Yeah, yes, S-A-R-K, this is the inverted, um, this is called the Tuttle Capital Short, I don't know what the full title is, but they are basically short Kathy Wood, Woods Innovation, Kathy Woods um, ETF. So I suspect this is kind of like, almost like the VIX index right now, you see this little double top here, this thing made a high of, uh, 51.05 on the 28th of January, pull back sharply to the 42s, rallied today all the way back to 51.74. Look at the VIX index. The VIX index had a move to the, the high that was made also around about the 28th of 32.04. Rates in Russia, remember I said it was the first time I'm ever including Russia in my VIX index, volatility um, index. And today the high was what? 3204, the double top. So I suspect that we're getting to some kind of area where, now the question is, uh, what was the question? A high basil, if you had SARK, S-A-R-K, would you add to your position, how low do you think ARK can go? Well, uh, let's just go back there because I, you know, it's basically this is what a lot of people are asking me over the weekend. Where, where do you think uh, certain areas can go? I think ARC, when this is done, in other words, this huge move down before we have a very real tradable rally, I suspect that it'll go lower than one anticipated. Uh, but at the same time, it'll be speed that's been generated to the downside and then a V shaped turnaround. So my thinking is the 57 area, today's low is 63. You know, when, when lows are made, very often you get that big percentage. That's where you get um, the last three days going into the low of a V-shaped uh, serious bottom is where you get a huge percentage decline. And sometimes it'll be 10, 12, 15 percent just going into the low. And then you get the V-shaped recovery and everybody's selling at the low. And the next thing you know, a couple of days later, it's above where everybody was selling. You say, oh, my God, what? Did I, oh, geez, I held and I held and now finally I, I sell. So I think we're in the area. I, I think we're within seven points, uh, 63 of the, of the low today, within about five to seven points of a pretty serious low. And that's just a tradable low. I don't think that's the low yet, but I think we we're getting there for a bounce. And this could be an inch, H to M pattern and then... Uh, bad news again, and we, whew, we go down. Is this the low? Now, if you have patience, I would say that if you've got SARC, which is the short, this is on the next bounce in ARKK, you can allow for, uh, um, maybe, maybe I would personally be taking a little bit off now, and that little bit I would add Maybe in the 769 area, six, maybe if it gets to 69, 
Yeah, for a bigger move to the downside um, than the move up. In other words, whenever we move up, I think we're going to be uh, accelerate down a bigger percentage or, or, or price movement. So that's kind of where I'm looking at it right now. Two things are going on that are really important. Uh, one is uh, within the context, look, someone uh, uh, emailed me over the weekend, uh, and there was a really good question, and said, uh, oh, where is it? Yeah, oh, I, I don't have it in front of me. I thought I put it, I typed it up, and I, no. That the SMHs constantly, over the last couple of days, have shown strength, even though the market then went down much greater. It actually, each time, the market bounced, the SMH is semiconductors left. There are 3.44, there are 1.3% at 26886. And I absolutely agree. I've been watching them very closely. They haven't gotten close to the 249.46 low. I'll be back in a moment. Lots to talk about. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hey, folks, we're back. So now <laughs> we're looking at estimations of 4.34. That you see. <clears throat> the 200 period moving average, look at this, how incredible it's been in terms of support and resistance. And we're now trying to head towards the 200 period movie average in the day, which is at 270.79. This is about a point and a half or higher. So we'll see what happens at that particular stage. So uh, <clears throat> will you be pumping NVIDIA today? Question comes in. Watch for today to be a margin call day for the public is something. Uh, anyway, um, I don't know why you say pumping. Pumping, you mean mentioning? Yeah, I mention NVIDIA a lot because it's a very important semiconductor pumping. Pumping NVIDIA? 
I mean, negative uh, NVIDIA for since the double, uh, double, triple top to 318s. Uh, I'm doing about it in a negative way, and I said it's lagging. MU is a much better stock. Look at this MU coming back nicely to DAB 281, which is micro technologies, advanced micro devices. I said, hey, forget about advanced micro devices. Think about ADM, which is uh, Archer Daniels Midland Agricultural at 77.10. Uh, it's up um, near the all-time highs. Yeah, I've been very negative of the semiconductor in, uh, index, uh, wanting to short it for a while. We did uh, try at some point. Yeah, this is, uh, no, not at all. I think the semiconductors are telling us that there's something serious going on here. See so what we're looking at? We're looking at the semiconductor shortage. We're looking at the geopolitical situation. We're looking at gold. Uh, gold right now is holding really well. It's down a uh, point at 1898. But, and I discussed this with my sub the subscribers over the weekend in my market overview. I said gold is in play, <clears throat> but it hasn't broken out like people are saying that it's broken out. No, if you look at the monthly chart, it hasn't even closed sharply above the highs that were made uh, back in <clears throat> 2021 in May and June in the 1920s. And, and right now, it's at 1898, still underneath that. So when it breaks above that, when it starts to hit <clears throat> 1920, uh, that's going to be a big deal. But we got to wait for that. But it is in play because it's part of the, the fear factor, the geopolitical fear factor. Gold is the icon of that. Talking about icons of that, look at the dollar. The DXY is holding very nicely down eight ticks at 96.01. Hasn't broken down, hasn't broken up, but it's in that rectangle sideways pattern. Look at crude oil. Crude oil <clears throat> is up $1.23 at $91.46, made new recovery high, way above the 85.65 October uh, 2018 high, which plunged to 7.61 April of 2020, and now has run to a new uh, recovery high. <clears throat> This is really important. The candles that we are looking at here say you could give it a little momentary pullback in crude oil, but now you hear about so many factors. You don't, you know, uh, Germany is, I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, Germany on one hand has to have this whole morality thing about Ukraine. On the other hand, there's a very practical need for uh, oil. Come, and there's a pipeline that coming. Look, look, look. Look at the um, natural gas up. 12 uh, cents at 4.557 and it hasn't broken out at all but I'm watching this really I was about to put in a buy for the uh, natural gas today and then I thought this is just too mixed a market I don't want to get caught up in um, an area that usually natural gas this is the time the natural gas makes its high for the season within this period in the six week period I don't want to get caught up in that but at the same time I think that this is politically you're looking at um, what happens with pipelines. You're looking at what happens with, uh, with crude oil. You're looking at a whole bunch of things. And you're looking at ships. You're looking at shipping. And let's just have a look at DSX. Uh, look, Diane Shipping up made a peak D on Friday. This is telling us that, yep, the shipping area is there's still an issue with shipping. Uh, it hasn't gone to the high that was made up in the sixes uh, about five months ago. But, yeah, it's still in play. So I just want to be really careful right here because oversold means that you – doesn't mean you turn it around automatically and get a buy signal. It means that you've got to start working off that oversold condition with opportunities that are happening in the areas that affect what's creating this – vortex of, of selling that just keeps going down. And what we're really looking at is, look, RTH, the retail index, jetted H pattern, then Vectors retail ETF goes to almost $200 uh, back in uh, November or so of 2021, plunges to the 170s, and now is at 181. Um, XRT, and this is with Amazon at 20%. Without Amazon, is 20% is a much worse technical picture. Look at this. You go from a high of uh, in the just over 100 down to the 75s, bounce a little bit to 82, and now you're at 77. And look at this. Very interesting. Macy's has very good earnings, etc., just like Home Depot, except, look, Macy's spikes up to a leg C, 
It's a lousy chart pattern in the in the weekly, but the daily is not bad. And yet Home Depot, whoops, Home Depot, also with really, really, really good earnings, maybe the outlook change, has a little bit of a plunge, down almost 6%, down 20 points at 326. This is a lower low. And this is just telling me that this market is fraught with um, three things. It's fraught with geopolitical tension. It's fraught with, I'd say geopolitical, but just as called economic, because I want to deal with the United States, economic uncertainty. Remember the market handles uncertainty every day. What it hates is uncertainty about uncertainty. That's exactly where we are right now. Uh, and this, in fact, turns out to be a new leg uh, D. Uh, yep, a new leg D to the downside in the H in Home Depot underneath the 200 period moving average. I have to respect this as a, as a, now I'm going to go to the monthly charts. And that was the question a lot of people asked me over the weekend. So there's a question saying, uh, can you please help me understand why is the Fed taking so long to take action, raise rates or to do something? They're always thinking and reviewing and commenting, but nothing gets done. The stock market is suffering from this indecision. Why does the stock market, and also why does the stock market make a big deal about the raising of rates if the interest rates is raised from 0.25 quarter percent to 1.5 percent in a year's time. It is still a low interest rate compared to other countries where companies pay 5 or 6 percent annually. So many companies in third world nations pay more money in interest than the United States, and they still keep producing and growing. Uh, with the recent collapse of stocks between 30 and 60 percent in two months, makes me think that the United States companies are unable to make a profit without free money, which does not make sense. I understand that some companies could have dif a difficult economic uh, crisis. Um, uh, some companies could have difficult economic situation due to different factors, but not so many. Uh, the U.S. has not truly uh, experienced an economic crisis since the Great Depression. That is the type of economic crisis that occurred in the 1920s. Yes, the the the, the um, 2008-2009 debacle. Uh, actually said uh, they've called it the Great Recession. I think that that's be a better term, the Great Recession. My impression is that as we move on, at some point, we will get something that replicates to a great extent. I just don't think we're there yet. We need to be there if we, if we had kept running up without stopping. Now we've had this huge hiatus. I think it's a preparation for another move to the outside. Oh, get me wrong. That's the way I see it. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. You remember Peak D, the fourth highest peak in the Chapman Wave? One minute chart made that Peak D right there at 50, uh, 9.55 this morning Eastern Time at 43.56.50, and that was, yeah, 9.55. Then it comes back down, holds the 200-period exponential moving average, and rallies right back and goes to a high of 43.58.75 at 10.31. Peak D, the very next bar is confirmed, goes back. Back to the 200 period moving average. When it does it after a cup formation, you had better watch this closely because this 200 period moving average, instead of being a propellant support, could become a repellent if all of a sudden you're looking at 43, um, uh, 28. And I, I, I don't like what I'm seeing right now in the market. I, I see it camps and rallying, but it's very much a struggle. Okay, so now let me do a couple of other things. I wanted to just go, we haven't finished the TLT. It is so important that the TLT, which is at 137.82, the iShares 20th Treasury Bond ETF, in the, look, we just saw exactly this pattern right here. In the weekly chart, that was the 10 minute chart of the E mini, where you went to a double top 152.72 back in uh, July, August of last year, pulls back to the 141 area, rallies to where? 155.12, leg F, pulls back and then breaks the key support level. Let's just see, let's have a look at this 10 minute chart here. Remember, chart patterns is all what we're about here. Look, there it is. There, there it is. Uh, yep, there it is. That's the 10-minute chart. Now we're going to be watching the... Sorry, that's the one-minute chart. Here's the 10-minute chart. I'll just I'll drag it across so you can see the whole thing. And as it's making that leg F and pulling back, the MACD went positive briefly and now it's down. The stochastic's now under 80% to 77. On balance volume is very weak. This is a really important moment because if it starts to take out 43.22, the 200 period moving average in the 10 minute chart, wow, I think we can go, we could accelerate lower. So at this particular point, it's really important for anyone who's bullish to see some kind of a bounce to the 43.42 area or higher really quickly. Okay, let's get back to I'm already talking about chart patterns. I'm not jumping around from the very near term to the uh, weekly and monthly for nothing. It's to show chart patterns. Let's go back to what we were looking at. TLT, 155.12 in the week of the 3rd of December of 2021 makes the A pattern of Eiffel Tower straight up, straight down pattern and comes back sharply. Is this going to make the jitter date to test the 133.19 area? I think yes. I think it will. The monthly low so far is 134.98, so it's not a big deal to go a uh, point to point and a half, even two points lower. But it will be a big deal if it closes on a monthly basis below 130. If it closes below 132, I think those rates are going to be a big issue. And look at this, TNX.X. There we go. Look at that. You made your peak D, but you're holding very well. What does this chart look like? Doesn't it look very much like the... Uh, no, that's not the one. Yeah, doesn't it look like the chart of Chevron? Look, pulls back, pulls back, makes the top, and then pulls back. 
Yet the monthly chart, the weekly chart is still very positive. So this can have a digestive phase. So I'm saying that watch this closely because the TLT in patterns at the bottom and the TBT at the top has the pattern that we're looking at where you made a peak a couple of days ago and you're pulling back. But the weekly charts are still holding very, very well. And that just says, keep in mind that higher rates look to be inevitable at this particular point. In the interim, you could have some kind of a, a bounce in the bonds so that yields can come down. But it really looks like higher highs and higher lows at this particular point. That can change, but it hasn't changed yet. It will change if the TBT, the Lehman Ultra Short 20-year T-bond ETF, starts to trade under 1850, especially if it hits the 200 period moving average of 18, that'll be a big deal. That'll say, uh-oh, now yields can actually pull back quite a bit more. And we'll be watching that. Uh, so the question is, uh, let me just do this one more time. Now, you didn't miss my analysis on the S&P. I did, I started, but I wanted to do it in, in a, a very organized way that says every... Every aspect of what I'm looking at in the Chapman Wave Roman candle at the high, uh, that's the Dow. So you want to the S&P. The Dow is also almost the same pattern, but uh, slightly different configuration. Says that we should be testing if the 40 to 60, 40 period exponential moving average does not hold support. We'll have a very quick run down to the 42.22 low of November the 24th. Does it mean that it could go lower? Or does that mean that's all it'll do? No, it says this is the first. Look, we've had since the low of March 2020 at 2191. This is the first um, really strong price move that we've had. We had one correction where it went to uh, the high of 3588 in September of 2020. Then it pulled back for one bar, held the low. And then moved on. That was just two bars of a cons two months of a consolidation. That's different to the two months consolidation from the high of 33.93 in February of 2020, going down to the low of March, just a the next month at 21.91, a 35% correction. But my my contention also is that with a 35% correction just two years ago, uh, actually it's a little uh, 22, yeah, it's a little less than two years. I'd be surprised if we get another 35% correction in this time frame. We could do it in sectors, yes, but I'm talking about the S&P. But just, let's just set that aside. It says, based on a weekly chart of the close on Friday, there's a really, really good chance that we're going to test 42.22. I hope that answers the question there. Now, I know your big question is, do I still call this leg B? I don't have any choice. Can it fail in the history of doing this? And going through daily charts, and weekly charts, monthly charts from 1920, um, bar by bar, I, I can't recall ever seeing a PB failure. A D, E, F, G even? Yep, but not a B. And there's only one, one way I can count it. So all I can say is, does it tell you where you can go to? Oh, you can go all the way down to the 4100s. From 2191 to down to 4100 after hitting 4818. Uh, that's not impossible. Do, do I still expect that somehow, some way that we will go to a higher highs? At this point, everything points to the fact that the, that's the way I, I would expect it based on the Chapman Wave methodology. So I hope I'll answer the question. The, on, the question is, can you see a deeper percentage correction from here? And the answer is yes, and it will still be a peak B if it, if, if in February, which looks almost impossible. We've got less than a week to go. When's the end of Feb? Uh, 28th is Monday, so we've got less than a week to go. Uh, the, the answer is yes. And the answer is I just don't know on a percentage basis where it can go because it's the S&P 500. If you're looking at the Dow, you can see the effect of one stock in, in the Dow 30. Well, it's really two stocks today. Uh, Boeing is also part of this. But you've got a couple of nice moves to the upside today. Um, and I'm, I'm really saying to you um, that... And when the mix of the Dow starts to correct itself, uh, there are enough stocks in the Dow. The makeup of the Dow says, yep, we could go still higher. But I'm waiting for this to go. I don't want to think higher until we know where we're going to conclude the downside. 
and we haven't got clues to that just yet. I do say end of end of uh, February, beginning of March is where we're going to be looking to see where are the key support there. Browse down 266. We'll be back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Oh, folks, so let's just cover a couple of questions that I got uh, and that I haven't done. So Pfizer, question about Pfizer. This is Pfizer Pharma. Huge, big pharma, big pharma. 47.97, down 56 right now, touching the 200 period exponential moving average. I think it could be close to a bounce, but I don't like the pattern at all. The monthly chart is at a peak E. It had, it had that exact, remember I drew this in a long time ago when everyone was looking at the, the biotechs and the farmers, and I say there's a one-to-one -one from that peak D uh, top that was made back in 2018, pull back sharply, and then the extension would take you, and I said right there to about the uh, 62 area, and what did it do? It hit 6171 back in, uh, I think it was November, December of 2021, peak F in the daily, and then it pulled back sharply. I think there's a problem here. And I, I would say that at the moment, it would not be the area that I, I, I would want to be in, even looking at an intermediate term. I'd like to see it. It's a great company. I just, it, I don't think this is the area to be in right now. And that 45, 6, 52 level in the monthly chart, the 14 period exponential moving average. Let's see how that holds. Myrna is the same thing. Myrna is Moderna, uh, Cambridge-based uh, biotech. I don't know if they moved. I saw the, I saw one of the, the facilities. I think it was in Norwood. 
I think anyway, Moderna Inc. or Denim, Moderna Inc. Biotech, COVID, other areas, peak F top at 97.49. Whoa, look at this. It's plunged all the way down. No, I, I think you can have bounces, but I, I as more intermediate term, I just don't think this is an area that I'd be, if that's the answer that you're looking for, what should I do? I say trade, yeah, if you want trade, I would actually avoid these stocks. They're very, very highly vulnerable. Okay, let's just do this on the day. We started to see selling pressure yet again. On the day, the fixed index at 29.27, if instead of trading in the 2890s or lower, at after 233, if this selling continues, I think we'll accelerate to the close. Be careful, you don't want to see the fixed index at the high of the day of 32.04, breaking to the 32 pence or higher. Have a wonderful day. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible.